um, is what would you say to somebody like myself, to a console log uh, debugger, why we should start using the debug tools inside of Edge? Yeah, that's a great question. So first of all, I want to say, you know what, to all the console loggers out there, you are valid. If you want to use console log to debug your website, that's that's great. You go ahead and keep doing that. Um, there are tools in DevTools uh, that you know you can set breakpoints. You can you know set watches. Um, I'm gonna do a demo here in a minute. Um, uh, well, actually, do you, do you want to just open up DevTools now and we can yeah, let's just start jumping it. in. All sure. Right. Um, that was the wrong button. There we go. Um, yeah, so I mean, yeah, first of all, you're valid if you want to use console. There are other tools. Um, uh, you know, we should take a look at those. But I, I think, you know, to your point, one thing I want to acknowledge is that I think one of the biggest challenges being a web developer is that the web is always changing. And it, it's a good thing about the web, right? The good thing is that it's always changing. The bad thing is it's always changing. And so it is hard to keep up with, um, you know, all of the new features, everything you need to support. Um, the dev tools are here to like evolve with the platform and help you debug new features and new capabilities. Um, but that means the tools are also complex. And so, you know, when I was working as a freelance web developer, I was using dev tools and I was only using elements in console for years. It's all I knew how to do and it, it worked and it was what I needed and that's okay. I think that's an okay way, way to use dev tools. So I'm definitely not here to say, you know, oh, console log, that's, you know, <laughs> that's not the right way. The right way is the way that makes you productive. Um, but that being said, I think, you know, as I joined the DevTools team, what became really interesting to me was like, how do we actually make these other tools and this other functionality easier to use, easier to understand, and like um, make sure that people, when they open up DevTools, they feel confident in the tool, they know how to find these specialty you know, tools and things like that. Um, so maybe I could talk a little bit about that, and then we can start um, jumping into some feature demos. Sound good? Yeah, let's, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. So uh, first of all, I just opened up DevTools. I uh, press F12 on, on the browser and have popped this up. Now, you see here I have a, a, a welcome tab, you know, very, very similar experience to what you'd see in VS Code or Visual Studio. Of course, you can, you can turn it off if you want. But, you know, now that we've moved to the Chromium platform, we're actually, you know, releasing new versions every four weeks. And our team is busy um, adding new features. You know, it's really quite cool to see this change log. So if you're the kind of person who, you know, you want to stay up to date with the latest features, this is a great way to do that. Um, you can actually click these links and they will take you directly to documentation about the new features. Um, so like, this is a great example. This is a really cool one, actually a new um, tool that we released that allows you to uh, debug memory leaks when you have, let's say like a, an element that's detached, but you have some JavaScript that's still referencing it. Um, those kind of memory leaks have typically been pretty hard to debug. We have a tool that's specialized just for that. It's great. Not everyone needs it, but for those folks that do, it's a really specialized tool. Um, and so by kind of keeping that, uh, you know, keeping tabs on this sort of welcome tab uh, or welcome tool, you can keep up to date with all the new features that we're working on. Um, we've also got some great docs for beginners and just links out to our documentation. So this is kind of a nice homepage, especially if you're getting started with the dev tools. Um, I think, uh, you know, another thing I want to kind of talk about is just sort of navigating the dev tools. I think that's been a sticking point, honestly, for a lot of folks who use the dev tools. And I was one of those people like, I don't know what all those buttons do. I better not <laughs> click them, you know? <laughs> I know what console um, does. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I'm just going to pull up here. And uh, admittedly, you know, it's a, it's a complex tool. There's a lot of different panels and different things going on like this. But here, um, kind of in this bottom panel, I've got, uh, you know, here is where I like to keep console elements, sources, networks. So these are kind of the, the main tools that people end up using um, elements to kind of inspect uh, different things on the page, um, sources, if you're wanting to look at your source code, or you're wanting to set breakpoints, um, network to monitor network activity, um, console. I think we, we've spoken to console. I think we know what console does. Um, 
But uh, what a lot of folks didn't realize is there are actually over 30 different tools you can uh, you can open up in DevTools. And we've, we've recently added this little plus button here to make it really easy to find those. Um, and you can kind of add them to this top menu or the bottom and you can move things around. But um, did you know that all these things were here? I did not know. <laughs> yeah, right? So there are all these specialized tools. Now, the ones I have open are kind of just the ones that may be opened by default. Um, but there are a lot of additional ones that you can add. And if you use them frequently, you know, open them up and keep them open and they'll be there the next time you open up DevTools. Um, so, you know, for example, here's a little known one coverage. Um, this one will actually measure, I think I'll have to refresh the page, but this will actually tell you like uh, code coverage for JavaScript and CSS based on the actual interaction that you've had with this um, page in the session. So you can see here, it's like, oh, I have 70% of my, um, you know, JavaScript in this particular file didn't actually run in this particular page load. And when I've clicked it here, it's actually brought this up and it's showing me the sort of color coding of saying like, hey, this code didn't actually run. Now it could be dead code or it could be just code that hasn't run yet because I haven't clicked a button or something that will uh, cause it to run. But things like this could be super helpful for someone. Um, rendering is another really cool one that I feel like I wish more people knew about. Um, you can do things like um, emulate different color modes, emulate uh, vision deficiency. So if you wanna see how your website will look like to someone who has certain kinds of color blindness, you can see I've set this and now the page um, is actually emulating that form of color blindness. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? That's okay. So you know what's funny is is, is, is I, and and I want to come back to it real quick because I had noticed um, um, uh, Lighthouse in there, and I definitely want to come back to, to Lighthouse um, because accessibility is 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 a little bit of a of, of a thing for me. Um, but that's so that's under rendering. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and there there are actually all sorts of cool um, functions in here. There's another one. Um, I don't want to turn it on because it, it could be sort of flashing lights and, um, you know, not yeah. everyone on the stream may want to see that, but um, you can turn that on to show like different parts of the re uh, page that are um, being painted to the screen. Um, here's a cool one, frame frame rendering stats. So you can see, um, it, I think it might be a little bit delayed just because of the stream. It's a little bit laggy, but as I scroll through the page, you, you can actually see um, I'm getting like different results on my frame rate or, uh, you know, different uh, kind of levels on GPU usage and things like that. So there's just, there's so many cool things just sort of tucked away into dev tools. Um, it can be hard to find them all, but hopefully with this um, plus menu, um, these, these kind of tools are more readily visible.